excelling in a world far different from her own. Jessa Baliote is considered one of the most promising ballerinas in the Philippines. At 15, she has competed both here and internationally. Her story could almost be a fairy tale. Jessa is succeeding in what is considered an elitist art form, despite being raised in one of the poorest communities in the country. Growing up at a dump site, Jessa was chosen as a ballet protégé at the age of 10, and there has been no looking back since then. When I was younger, all I ever knew was that my parents were scavengers. I was a scavenger. In my mind, I always thought life would be just that way. I dream of helping my parents, so that someday I can get them out of this place, so they may have a nice life and be in a safer environment. Jessa is one of the more than 50 students that the group Ballet Manila has sponsored. The children come from poor areas and are given a chance at becoming professional ballet dancers. People here are trying to make ballet more accessible to everyone, but supporters of the art admit this will never be easy in a country where much of the population still lives in poverty. And because art is not high on the government's agenda, ballet projects here rely on private funding. But those who support ballet say the program's success is measured through the lives it has transformed. We are trying to give them a chance, but if they drop out of the program, and we've had many dropouts because the life is difficult, but the fact that we have been able to give jobs to these kids who are now uh, considered um, proficient enough in their classical ballet technique, that for me is the ultimate evidence that our program is succeeding. Ballet has opened many possibilities for Jessa and many like her from the slums. In a life of hardship, Jessa says she hopes to dance her way out of poverty, one graceful step at a time. Jamela Lindogan, Al Jazeera, Manila.